Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. You may be seated. Good morning, Wolves. Happy Friday. I am here today in the PBIS room where we have all of the items that you purchased on the PBIS store. I'm actually looking at candies and stickers and dino eggs and squishies and pencils. And today I wanna to talk to you about a few things about PBIS. The first thing is, you know, the Outdoor Learning Center is a place for you to have fun and enjoy the outdoors. If you don't necessarily wanna play on the slide or the swings for the day, each teacher has two passes to the Outdoor Learning Center and they're doing lots of fun activities like this neat art. It is simply used with glue and salt and then they're putting some paint on it. You can come out and do a craft like this or many other different crafts if you're interested in it. So third through fifth graders, I'm specifically looking for you because kinder through second grade, they love coming, but third through fifth, I don't know what's happening. We're not seeing you at the Outdoor Learning Center. If you have other ideas or suggestions on what kind of art or crafts we could do in the Outdoor Learning Center, let us know. Teachers, there's going to be a survey coming to you maybe by Monday asking you for your input based on what your students tell you. So students, we want to know what is it that you want to do during the Outdoor Learning Center time. And again, this is just one example. The next thing I want to talk about is the Glow Party. The Glow Party is an event that's on the PBIS store and I'm here live in the PBIS room. So PBS says stuff, how many points do students need to go to the Glow Party? 70 points. I know you have 70 points. So if you wanna to go to the Glow Party, don't forget to purchase the event. It is going to be two Fridays from, from now, Friday, October 25th, and we're also looking for your suggestions. So we want to know what kind of music do you like? What songs do you like? Teachers, the survey that's coming out next week will also be looking for some input on what songs students want to hear. So start telling your teachers, we're going to play student-friendly music. So make sure that you share your ideas because we want you to have fun and sing and dance at this glow party. That Friday, October 25th is the same day as our trunk or treat event in the evening. So we hope that you come to school with your friends, with your family and have a great time at trunk or treat. I'm wearing this shirt, friends. This t-shirt is Dino Dash. Dino Dash is happening on Sunday, November 2nd, and I already know that a few students have signed up, but I want everyone to sign up and come and join us on that fun day. You get to walk, you get to run, you get to have fun with your friends and family and so many other people in Tustin Unified and from Sycamore Magnet Academy. Here's the best part. For every student that signs up, your teacher gets $10 back to spend in the classroom to buy activities, to buy so many different supplies, that the ideas are endless. So again, let's say you sign up and you happen to be in Mrs. Rivera's class. Mrs. Rivera gets $10 to spend because you signed up, how great is that? So please make sure you are talking to your parents about Dino Dash and sign up friends. Okay, that is all for today. Have a fabulous Friday. I will see you out there. These are the expectations for your lunchbox during lunch. Once you get dismissed, you cannot run to the fence line. You must walk to the line at the fence. After you get dismissed to the blacktop, you must place your lunchbox in your class line. Then you can go play on the playground.
If you use these alleyways, please remember they are private property and you should not walk here. Please respect our neighbors.